In this diagram, we can see the chain of influences that have eventually led to the creation of faster RCNN. In the first row, we can see some of the basic operations that it can perform on top of images, be it convolution, color edges and uh, corner detection, super pixel straddling, calculating the histograms or gradients of the images. From these basic operations, we were able to generate the feature extractors like uh, AlexNet and VGNet from the convolution operation. Or on the other hand, by using the classical CV based techniques, we were able to come up with the uh, SIFT and HOG. Later, these, uh, some of these techniques were improved to create uh, DPM from HOG. From SIFT and uh, histograms, we got a bag of visual words. And a bag of visual words was improved to create the spatial pyramid matching. And uh, selective search in the middle combined the concept of uh, color edges, uh, super pixels and corner detection along with the SIF feature extractors plus CNNs to create an object detection framework. And uh, here on the left we have uh, multi-box and uh, ORF feature networks that built on top of AlexNet and VGGNet based architectures. And then we have uh, RCNN which uh, combined these CNNs along with the uh, selective search to come up with the object detection framework. Then uh, by combining the RCNN and the uh, spatial pyramid matching, we got SPPNet. From SPPNet, uh, we got uh, fast RCNN and uh, finally faster RCNN by using the concept of anchor boxes. So here uh, we can uh, we can see that uh, it's not as if the authors of faster RCNN just woke up one fine day and uh, imagined this kind of network architecture. As uh, Stephen Johnson notes in his book, ideas don't just happen; they usually evolve. And uh, it was uh, this uh, thought or this ideology that uh, got me into the rabbit hole to explore all the different concepts and uh, ideas behind each of these papers. My initial thought when I was uh, thinking of doing the tutorial was to only cover the latest papers like uh, Faster RCNN, SSD, YOLO, etc. But when I was going through the papers, I realized that a better way would be to cover as many concepts and ideas as uh, possible. Of course, at the same time, I have to be uh, realistic and uh, practical, so I couldn't go into the details of all the papers. But I, may, uh, uh, but I just gave you the concepts and intuitions. And uh, another advantage of uh, this is that we can see many places in many places here that you can just mix and match uh, different ideas to come up with a novel architecture or to improve on the existing network. So who knows, maybe one of these ideas might be useful for you to solve a specific problem that you might be facing in your work or to create something new if you are into research. Instead, if you had just studied uh, these networks like uh, faster RCN and SSD YOLO, you might not have got exposed to all the different concepts and ideas in this field. Not only that, you now also know the different design paradigms and the trade-offs between different designs. As an example, we have evaluated the concept of uh, image pyramid in some of the papers. Later we saw that it's not worth the trade-off in terms of the time taken to do the additional processing. And so we dropped it in some papers. And uh, in this way, you are now aware of uh, many different design paradigms. Not only that, I feel that it's uh, beneficial to not only know what works, but you should also know what doesn't. So by the time we got to faster RCNN, we have filtered out a few ideas that are not very effective. So it's uh, better to be aware of even such things so that you don't end up you, you don't end up spending too much time in evaluating or experimenting on top of those ideas. And uh, lastly, we can see that many of the concepts are uh, repeating themselves or they might be resurfacing in a different form. For example, when, when we were discussing SIFT, we saw that it works on the basis of sparse sampling, that is based on the interest point detection. And a hog detector, a detector works on the basis of dense sampling. On the same lines, in overfeed, this, work, this network works on the basis of dense sampling and RCNN works on the basis of sparse sampling. And then we have faster RCNN which uses a combination of both dense and sparse sampling. So that's one example of uh, 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 concepts that are repeating themselves. Then uh, secondly, we have uh, these papers like uh, Selective Search and RCNN, which combine both the classical CV and CNNs to come up with their network architecture. And thirdly, we, we have seen the usage of uh, feature pyramid in uh, deformable parts model. And we'll also be seeing uh, the usage of uh, this concept in one of the future papers. We have seen that uh, we use the anchor box concept in the multi box and the faster RCNN paper, and the same concept will also be used in YOLO. So it's not as if some of the concepts or uh, theories that you have learned in the past might uh, not be useful in the future. It might uh, resurface itself in a different form. So ultimately, what I want to say is, it's better to have many tools in your arsenal than just one. And as I say, 
if hammer is the only tool that you have every problem will look like a nail and uh, finally with regards to my motivation to create this tutorial i actually uh, did it for selfish selfish reasons and i want to uh, i wanted to learn this uh, topic in a much better way so i am basically following the feynman's uh, technique of uh, learning something and teaching to someone else and uh, finally with regards to my motivation for creating this uh, tutorial even i am new to this field i have just spent one or two years uh, in this and i wanted to just dig deep and understand in a much better way and as richard feynman says the best way to learn something is to teach someone else but at the same time i do know that uh, my understanding is not perfect or i might have made some mistakes in my explanation if so please do let me know in the comments so that i can close the gaps in my understanding anyway coming back to the topic at hand we have uh, discussed uh, these topics until now the these are the classical cv based uh, papers and uh, these are the uh, cnn based uh, architectures we are yet to see these four uh, networks rfcn sst yolo and uh, retina net until now i was on a career break and i was able to completely concentrate on creating this uh, tutorial and uh, until uh, and i have finished uh, until the faster rcnn but now i might uh, have to start looking for a job so the pace at which i release uh, these four papers might be somewhat slow and uh, finally if you like this uh, tutorial please subscribe and inform your friends